Hey everyone, we're back with another Friday new product post and we've got a bunch of new stuff to light up your weekend. First up, we have a bunch of new LED strips. We've carried LED strips in the past, but we never really had a good vendor for these. Um, we had some where the silicone would crack over time, so if you wrapped them up too tightly, the um, weatherproof ceiling would crack off. Um, we'd always get them in different wire connections. We actually had them in one meter and five meter lengths, but we had to cut the one meters here in house so they didn't have these nice connections at the end. We finally found a company that has everything that we want. We get these made for us and they're exactly what we want. And we have them in every different type of variety. So I've got these separated into four different groups. We have them in one meter and five meter. And so on this side, I've got the weather sealed version. And on this side, we have what we call the bear version. I'll start with these um, weather sealed ones. You can see these are actually kind of wrapped in like this um, flexible silicone jacket and they're sealed at both ends with this little cap at the end. And so these are kind of nice because they're really flexible. So you don't get the cracking that always happened with the other ones. It's a nice little flexible jacket that these are all encased inside of. So this one just has the bare wires at the end. This one is non-addressable. So for this strip, these will all be the same color. So if you light these up, it will be a strip of red, green, blue, or whatever color you end up um, setting this to. It will just be one strip of that same color. And this is the one meter. And then we also have this in a five meter as well. Here is the exact same thing, but this is actually an addressable. So we've got a wire termination here at the end. Same weatherproof jacket, but you can see that there's a little bit more going on here and these are actually addressable. So if you're not familiar with addressable and non-addressable, like I said, for these, if you turn this on, it's just gonna be one color. Now, granted, you can mix from any of the RGB. You can do a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you can make any color in the rainbow that you can imagine with one of these, but the whole strip will be the same color. Now, with these, these actually have an IC built into the individual LEDs, and you can address each individual IC individually. So each one of these LEDs, you can change to a different color, so you can make it flash, you can make it do like a chase pattern. Now these do use the 2812 IC, the WS2812. We have a breakout board for the WS2812, we have the bare IC, and we have full tutorials and all sorts of good stuff on how to drive this. And basically, you're just telling it, how many LEDs are in this chain, and then you say the first one's gonna be this, the second one's gonna be that, the third one's gonna be that, things like that, and that's how you control this whole strip of LEDs. And I will say that for all of these, they are 60 LEDs per meter, so that is basically the density or how close together all these LEDs are, so they're all the same. So those four are all sealed, you know, they have that nice silicone jacket over it. So what if you want something just a little bit more simple, you're just gonna use it inside of a cabinet or you don't really need the weather sealing? Well, we got you covered there. We have these which are bare. So there's still these kind of flexible strips. So this comes in a one meter and a five meter. And as you can tell by the bare leads, these are non-addressable. So once again, the whole strip would be the same color, whatever color you control that. And then we also have that same thing in the bigger five meter spool. So what if you want the bare in an addressable? We got you covered there too. And you can see that they have the connectors on the end. So we have that in the five meter and of course the one meter. That is all of the new LED strips. So this week we've also got a new version of the Cerberus. Um, this is the old Cerberus for those of you that are not familiar. Um, on one end it has just your standard USB and on the other end we have the three different types of common connectors found, the B, the mini B, and the micro B. We end up designing this cable based on the needs that we had in like production, tech support, and also in catalog. Um, all the different Arduino boards and all the different dev boards always seem to have the connector for the cable you don't have on hand. So you have a mini B on hand and oh, the board has a micro B and you just never have the right one with you. So we designed this. It's a very simple cable. Um, it just has these three connectors hooked up. That's it. There's no real electronics. There's nothing going on here. What we really didn't anticipate is that people would be using this cable for all sorts of different things like cell phones, cameras, um, hard drives, everything else. So what happens if you use this cable, since everything's just kind of hooked together in parallel, um, you run into some issues. It doesn't work well with mass storage devices. For some Android phones, it doesn't work. We kind of assumed people would just be using it for Arduinos, like what we did. But 
You guys wanted to use it for something different, so we redesigned the Cerberus and we came up with this. This is the new Cerberus. The new Cerberus, as you can tell, is a little bit bigger in this hub and actually has a full USB hub inside of it. So not only can you use this with Android phones, mass storage devices, um, cell phones, digital cameras, all that good stuff, but you can actually simultaneously use it for three different things, asterisks, as long as your power requirements don't overload the cable, of course. Um, but that should be good with your USB host. Um, so this is a really interesting cable in that it's the same as the other one. You just have a single connector on one end, but then you have a mini USB, micro USB, and a standard B on the other end. So it's pretty cool. And the fact that it has the hub built in, it will work with almost everything. We've tried it with a bunch of different Android phones, a um, bunch of different mass storage devices, digital cameras, all that, and it seems to work very well. Um, the only thing is, I probably wouldn't use this for like really high speed data. Um, you might still have a little bit of an issue with the hub, but we can get it to work just fine, so see what your experiences are with it. But that is the new Cerberus. We will have the old Cerberus on sale for a limited time until stock runs out. And if you just wanna have this kind of multi-pronged cable to use for your Arduinos and other stuff, the original Cerberus is still really good, but if you wanna use multiple devices at once and you want to use it with Android and all the other stuff, check out the new servers. And lastly, we have two new versions of the DSO Quad. This is largely the same as the previous DSO Quad, but it's kind of got a little bit of a um, aesthetic facelift. So they have this really nice aluminum case now. So it just feels a lot nicer and feels a lot more substantial than the older plastic ones. For those of you not familiar with the DSO Quad, the DSO Quad is a pocket size oscilloscope and um, it's also a signal generator and a few other things. Um, the other nice thing is it has updatable firmware so you can add new features and keep updating the firmware and it can get better and better. So we have it in the new aluminum black and we also have it in the silver as well. So if you're looking to get a DSO quad, check out the new finishes. And I will also have the old DSO quads on the site for sale. So if you don't really care about the case and want to pick up a good deal on the old one, check that out as well. So there you have it, a week of revisions. Um, check out all the stuff, of course, that we have for here. And please note that the old RGB LED strips we have for sale, the old servers we have on sale, and also the old DSO quads we have on sale. So if you're looking to pick up any of the older revisions of these, we have some good deals going on the site. And go ahead and check out the rest of the new product posts for all the other things that we have for sale this week. And we'll see you again next week with even more new products.